December 8th, Friday. Tomorrow will be the 492 anniversary on Saturday in 1531 of the apparition of the Holy Mother to Juan Diego in Mexico. I find that since tomorrow is Saturday and it caught my attention when I was doing studies on the Lara constellation, the harp, the eagle. Don't know how to approach this because astronomers and according to the oldest historical document on the Guadalupe apparitions, Juan Diego unfurled his toma at exactly 645 in the morning. What's interesting is the stars are not Check geocentric. This out. That is from the perspective of the earth. Since I Rather, study stars. They're heliocentric from the perspective of the sun. Mary's head is also tilted at 23.5 degrees, which is the precise angle of the earth as it orbits the sun. Mary appeared and gave the miraculous image on the winter solstice, the darkest day of the year. The day Check after which the sun starts to shine brighter and longer. It's like she was saying, this is the beginning of a new era. Where my children have lived in darkness, I come to announce the rising of the Son of Justice, my Immaculate and Divine Son, Jesus Christ. Have hope, because brighter and longer days await you. Interestingly, the constellation surrounding Mary's Corona constellation. Okay, right here. Now, this is no disrespect whatsoever. None. Looking at the northern crown, okay, and then you got Othiti, Othetius over here right above right here where my pointer's at that's where the constellation you got hercules and you got Lyra right above image you got virgo and you got a bunch of other star constellation that matches up with the turret what she's wearing now i don't know if this is going to make sense and i there's somebody out there that knows how to put this together better where i'm going with this now going back into time this is 1531 12 12 that's when the the image and this is from mexico city easily confined on this program okay here's the theseus here's the crown now you look at the image and there you have the other constellation libra and all the other constellations virgo down here draco okay the hercules constellation it's missing I'll, I'll come back on hercules constellation but you got lara up here the harp the reason i'm fixated and also too over here you got the sun and you got venus by sagittarius by Othesis near the galactic center the milky way all this is the milky way try to connect a piece of the puzzle to where i'm going with it be honest with you i don't know where i'm going with this to be honest i might be on a fishing expedition or something is being revealed to me because looking at this is facing this is different now if you turn it around lara will be above her head the harp the reason i bring this up is because they discover musical notes frequency music okay they discover music there's so much the way they discover he discovered it from top to bottom so let's put harp okay the reason i bring our harp up because the harp was the music during the king david king solomon it goes way back into the bc what if because right above her head is the harp and since the music was discovered from top to bottom and put together in frequencies but also now that we have modern technology we had spacecraft this data here from chantra x-ray it had a cut listen to this Let's eliminate the Hubble frequency. Don't sound right. And Spitzer Space Telescope. Now Spitzler Space Telescope. I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Chantra and this one here. The light of object. Okay, so we have. I wish somebody out there could musical that is into music and mathematics. Okay. Detected by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. Okay, listen to that one. Okay, that one right there. Add that, that sound right there. Eliminate the Hubble. And Spitzer space now, add that one. So, just those two alone. And what would it sound like? Add it with this. Play the two together. Okay. Let's listen to it now. Play, bring it down some. Right there. Where the sun was located during that time. 
the star charts, discovery of music, and the frequency, there's something here. Or am I fishing? Either or. Looking at this article here, this was back in 19... 2018 december 10th and it shows a list of miracles the eye it just has a list of miracles 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 the explosion where the communists try to ex destroy the lady uh, our lady of guadalupe it, it it just goes on and on and on and on even all the top experts that that did research on it in their field their expertise i mean i highly recommend this i put a link to it uh, hopefully it doesn't get the, the coloring. It just goes on and on and on. And I'm trying to find the stars. Get okay, the stars. The Aztec regarded in the Mayans, the writings that did survive. The center of the Milky Way, the birthplace. Passed down, passed down. Where did they get the knowledge from? It's just amazing. If you look at the star constellation, turn this around. And right here where my pointer is at, right, right above the head, right here. That will be where the harp is located. And since the music was discovered, the frequency from top to bottom. And since that constellation is maybe I'm just way out there on this one. But for some reason, I'm just drawn to the frequency. The video on December 9th is the anniversary. The gift that keeps on giving more and more revelations. And there's people out there that know how to deal with computer graphics and putting this stuff, composing that image to the star constellation during that time period and try to put all these pieces of the puzzle, all these constellations connecting with the star constellation back then to this and see what else, because something else will be revealed and another miracle. It'll be listed as another miracle. But uh, I thought I'd just put that out there. Mother, holy mother. God, do I need your help? I need your help. Pray to you. I ask for mercy. I ask for protection. I need you more than ever. Till next time.